Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Imperion. <laughs> I almost forgot. So what's going on today? Well, I'm going to show you the base here that I've been working on a little bit. I've been expanding this base a bit. And I have to tell you some bad news. The bad news is I recorded episode 2 with OBS. So here's the story. I updated to Windows 10. And then <clears throat> I went to record uh, the next episode uh, for Empire <laughs> Empyreon. And yeah, it, it recorded and it was a wicked episode, but unfortunately, yeah, it was all blank. It was just only the, the voice. And so here we are today. So basically what I'll show you what happened and or I'll show you what I did and you know the plans and you kind of go over everything like that. So that's the base that I was working on in the the, the last episode which would have been your episode. So technically this is episode 3, but it's going to be episode 2 because unfortunately the second one didn't record properly. So yeah. You'll have to forgive me on that. Let's run all the way down over here. So, I did mine some iron over there. So let's actually go over to the iron. Okay. I thought about that, but then I'm, I'm looking at my oxygen, and I'm thinking, ah, it's time to get some oxygen. So let's, let's fill up on oxygen first, which is way over here. We'll have to put an oxygen place in our base, so that way we can. Uh, let's put those in there. Okay, and let's put... Okay, there's two in there. Perfect. Let's check the fuel of the ship. Good, it just needs one. Excellent. So, I have a roof repair charge, drill charge, filler and flatten charge. Okay, so we're all right. We're all right. Perfect. Okay, so what did we do? Well, basically what I recorded was the fact of going through all this construction queue. And what I was doing is crafting these kind of core components like so. Uh, maybe a couple glass plates, maybe a couple control devices, maybe some of these, some of these, and some of these, right? Because we were using them for all kinds of, of crafting. But as you notice, we need some materials now, so we're going to have to pick uh, or pick a place to go exploring in to find some materials. I need some magnesium powder. That's kind of a priority number one because I need more more ammo. Where do we get magnesium powder from? From magnesium ore. So we're going to have to go find some. And what I was trying to do is resurrect this ship by putting thrusters. So what I built was these these directional thrusters, but if you look, they're blue, which means a ground vessel. I need a green one for small vessels. So that is why I built the base, because I need the large constructor that you can build for that. So let's run over here to the iron deposit. I also built an assault rifle. I also built is this this is the the repair tool, the remove and repair tool. This is how you remove blocks and repair blocks. It takes ammo, of course. Uh, this one you start with, which is the filler and flatten charge. This is the drill charge. This is what we're going to use to kind of carve out some more of this iron. So you'll see this iron deposit will be quite uh, consumed because I came I came over here and started to mine into this place to harvest all the, the materials, right? So these uh, little rocks that come, they are permanent. They stay here even when you you leave the world and come back, they still are valid. So be aware of that. It's pretty exciting. Let's see, let's get up these up here. Lots and lots of iron, man, which is awesome. There's also a copper deposit up top there. So let's we'll we'll go and grab that in a second here. Okay, just kind of carry on this way. Now, is there a limit to these stones that come out of this thing? I'm not too sure. So let's just keep mining. Keep mining until this is all gone basically. We'll be able to recharge this so it's not a big deal. Let's see here. here we 
are. Okay, what's... Oh, I thought that was some other material that fell. So now we gotta push your F on each one of these things, which kind of sucks. So you gotta basically mash the F and pick up all this iron. Let's go pick up some copper as well, so we can show you that. What's this? Oh, there's crushed stone. Okay, cool. How did I get that? Probably from this stuff. Huh. Okay. That's cool. So we need some more of that crushed stone because that is for the filler and flatten charge, I think. And I think something else uses that crushed stone too, so let's see, let's turn our jetpack on here so it kinda help kind of move through here. Okay, let's jump up. And oh it's perfect. So that's how you you mine for iron, and then I went up there and grabbed the copper. So we're going to have to do a little bit more exploring. We're going to have to try and find these other resources. Now last game, or last uh, episode that you didn't successfully record. Now there was, um, I was just kind of showing some base building, kind of some basic base building. So I was just clearing that area and then building the blocks and then I showed off some crafting. So. You know, you know the crafting this game and how it works, right? You, you're using that terminal there. Actually, this stuff here on the ground, you can actually eat this stuff, I think. Right here. This moss scrapings or whatever. Because it gives you 250 stamina. Let's see here. Let's see if it poisons us. There you go. That's not too bad. It, it uses up some, some food, but for the... The temporary stamina gain I think that is good I also placed a spotlight over here for the night time so that way when the night time rolls around we'll we'll be able to see visually see everything so let's see what we also uh, what we need to craft so what did I craft I crafted I'll show you what I crafted at the base I crafted a small generator I crafted a food processor I also crafted a small fuel tank so that way everything can be powered and I think that's about it so now I guess we need to see what we need to make for thrusters or how we can make thrusters so I want to make a fridge so we need one computer how do we make a computer well we go into components we make one computer once that computer is done hopefully we'll be able to build the fridge now this fridge is what we can use to store like food and perishables and stuff like that. So I will be grabbing this. Oh, why? Oh, three electronics. Okay. Uh, see, I wish you could just click on it and it would automatically craft like the two electronics and then craft that. You know, it should automatically craft what it needs before it. So that way, instead of having to click through through this, I was thinking about it today and, and it was kind of fun clicking through it and kind of going back and forth but I can see it getting repetitive and kind of just cumbersome that way so yeah I want also or I want also there to be a way to kind of recycle these things like the projectile pistols or, or anything like that that you find I want to see if we can recycle it right um, oh yeah that's right we can put let's see iron ore in here That should still be crafting, okay. And then we can craft, uh, let's see, some bars here, iron bars. So I think 20, 23, I think. So 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. Perfect, okay, there's the fridge. We'll place that in our base somewhere. Okay, let's go this back. Um, how many fuel tanks do we have? We have 22 fuel packs. I think we need to make more of these. So let's make 20 of those, which would be 200 pellets, which means we're going to have to pick up some of the Promethium, I think. Yeah, I think the Promethium we'll have to pick up because that's the fuel. <clears throat> and then we're going to have to recharge the, the drill charge. So yeah, so let's go to that Promethium deposit. Kind of harvest a little bit of that on the way back to the base. Yeah, man, this game is interesting. I was, I've been thinking about it all day, and 
you know, I bought a, a Lushable Echo a, a copy and I sent it to him. So hopefully he'll find that and discover that soon. And maybe we'll be playing this together as well, like we always do with every other game. Because <laughs> single player, I don't know. I just, single player, single player. <laughs> it has its fun. I also like to do multiplayer because it's just a little bit more fun. So let us. There we go. Oh, now we can recharge. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Just kind of grab this material here. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you? Whew. I don't know if they can attack though, because I haven't taken any damage. Good some meat to cook. Let's reload. Yeah, I can't wait till they add animations for the reloading, because it's going to make it look so much better. Let's see here. Let's see, let's carry on. Now I guess one thing with the mining is you gotta be careful because I think you can f f fall in to holes that are too big and then you're screwed. But if you always have a drill charge with you, you can always drill your way out so it's not that big of a deal. I wonder how big these deposits are. Let's sit here and see how much we can take of this Prometheum. At least we're getting the crushed uh, stone, is because I know we need it for something. I just can't remember what. Um, oh wait, I think it's gone now. Hey, no, maybe right here. Now I think it's gone. Hey, okay, let's do the jetpack. Jump out of the hole here. We got a little bit more here. Probably nothing to pick up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's still there, but it's empty. Okay, interesting. Let's run over to... Let's go to the Neodium, whatever it's called. Neodium uh, thing. Let's equip a pistol. Let's use that for some combat here. So we need to use that up versus anything else. Very hilly terrain. Now, if the animals don't damage you, then I think that might be it. Might be bugged at the moment. Look at that cactus. That's kind of neat. This is a neat area. Very hilly and rocky. Let's see. Jump pack up. Yeah, there we go. Let's check this out here. I really hope this is recording. It should. Fraps usually does. The only reason I don't like to do fraps is because the the file sizes are just humongous. So we're gonna have to keep this one short. And it's just basically to show you what happens and how it all happens and you know, how we play this game. You know, this is what the game's about. It's about exploring, and so it takes a long time to run to other areas until you build your ground vehicle. Then it's a different story. So let's let's pick up this stuff. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get damaged. Let's reload. Yeah, so it looks like they don't really damage you, which is stupid. Reload. So bugged. Okay, uh, let's grab all this stuff. Okay, um, right here we go. Neodymium or neodymium or uh, <laughs> whatever. I'm gonna butcher the names. So let's see how we can access this. I think we have to actually dig down to it. Oh, here we go, here we go. I think we're doing it now. 
let's see, is that is what this stuff is? Okay, so it looks like kind of like magnetic ore or something. Or maybe it's like batteries, used for batteries. Kind of like uh, alkaline or any of that stuff. So let's see here. Let's just kind of pick up a few more of these. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> if I have to pick it all up. It's kind of cool, but I don't know if it if it adds or takes away <laughs> from the immersion. Because that's the one thing about these games, is why do, do we play these games, right? Do we play these games because we like the, I don't know, because we like the survival aspect? Do we play these games because it's early access? Do we play these games because, I don't know, you know, comment on the on the on the on the video oh look at there's water here that's cool comment on the video as to why you you play this game right what attracts you to Imperion so let's go over to our base so we can do some cooking show you how that works so basically you craft a bunch of components and then you build a base and then from there you can build you uh, more things and then from that then eventually you get like a mobile base which then you can use anywhere so let's go check the fuel here I'm gonna I'm gonna need to add lights to everything here looks like the fuel is good perfect oh, you buggers look at that it's just so bugged uh, we gotta reload Ah, oh, come on. You need to find some magnesium. There we go. Let's grab all those. We need a lot of meat for food. Our oxygen is getting low, actually, which is surprising. So let's use the food processor. So we're going to make this raw meat. So let's throw all this stuff into here. What else can we make? What else do we need? Oh, look at that. We need a lot of stuff for the emergency rations. Pumpkins, we can make ham. 100 food, 10 health, 25 stamina. So why would I make a grilled steak? Oh, it's a, the grilled steak is the same? Huh. They both take raw meat, so let's make this one then. Two, three, four, five, six. There's salami, there's ribs. Interesting. See, I don't understand the purpose of that. Why would you make those other materials? Unless you need it for the emergency ration here. It looks like we need... No, I don't see any ribs there. Huh. But this is probably what we want to make is these rations because they're the best. They're the best food item in the game. So that's what we'll work towards eventually. But in the meantime... Bread, cheese, looks like you need raw meat. Yeah, interesting. Okay, where are we going to place the fridge? Well, good question on that. Maybe we can place the fridge right here. It doesn't seem like it's going to be out of place, I don't think. So this is how you place stuff. You basically pick the item and then you, yeah, you put it. And then you use the end, home key, and all those keys to rotate. Let's just put it right there. Um, do I left click? Why can't I put it there? Ah. It's red. Why is it red? Cannot place this block on base. Did I build a fridge for a car? Oh, look at that. I built a fridge. Ah, I built the wrong fridge. <laughs> Oh man, so here's the constructor. Now here you'll see there's whole there's a whole new selection of items to build. And what I need to build is this thing, thruster directional, because we want to resurrect that ship. So I'm going to work on those components f for that, and I'm going to make that. We also need to make a fridge. Crap. 
console that's for decoration, which is cool. I, I like decorations. Even though they're useless, it's still cool. Um, yeah, this is the fridge I need to build. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. This is. I'll, I'll show you a little bit how to build the components. So if I want to build the fridge too, we need a computer control device, three electronics. So computer, how, what do we need for computer? Uh, we need to move all our components here. Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's move everything to here. So I'll be right back here with all the stuff so we can move it here. Alrighty, alrighty. Oh, I'm going to eat here. Let's eat first. We can make one more um, pork. Okay. And this stuff we can now eat. Let's put one of each of these 300. Do these perish? Oh, they do. Shit. Ah, oh, damn it. I need to build. That's okay. So I'm going to start to eat these guys. That one. Okay. And let's, as we do that, let's run back to our base here. Looks like we can eat a couple more, maybe. Let's see here. Yeah, let's just do one more for the heck of it. Let's wait for our stamina here. Okay, that's okay. So we just need to kill one creature, and that should feed you. It should feed you enough for a decent session, I think. Let's run back this way. Uh, what else did I talk about in the episode before? Yeah, no, I don't know. We did some base building, and we did. Uh, we we're trying to resurrect this ship and to bring it back, maybe even to use it as transportation around here. That's, I think, what's going to happen. So, yeah. So I'm just running over here to empty out all the components out of it, and we're going to use a large constructor to build everything with instead of this thing. Uh, we don't need anything from you, buddy. It's just so unsafe here now. <laughs> So let's kind of take all these materials out of here. I have to make multiple trips for this. Let's. Oh yeah, I will. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll be right back. Okay, well I'm back in my ship and I realized that I have that that fridge I can place right. So let's see how big it is. Since it's for the space vehicle. <laughs> Let's take a quick peek at how big this... Okay, it'll fit in the box there. So, is this the remove tool? Filler and flatten? No, this is the remove tool. Um, let's just kind of check this. This left mouse button is removed. So let's check a look inside this. This container is empty. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There we go. Let's right click to fix. Oh yes it is, right mouse button repair. Okay good. So let's repair our ship a bit here. Yeah, we can actually resurrect it which is kind of cool. Huh, okay let's put the fridge in place here. I think just like that. I think now we can then pop this perishable stuff into there and now it should stop perishing cool so now we have a way of storing some food at least which is good okay uh, let's see plants we can store into here since we're going to be using this ship still let's kind of pop a bunch of this stuff that we don't typically need uh, let's see throw that in there we don't really use the flashlight let's equip the flashlight uh, let's throw these alien parts in here. Okay, let's put the spoiled food in there. This is the directional. Perf okay, perfect. Glass plate we'll keep with us because we're going to put inside. Okay, um, this guy. Need to transfer all this stuff. Okay, perfect. That's everything. Okay, good, good, good. So now we can turn this guy off. We don't need him anymore. We'll keep it on the ships because that's the, uh, the best use for it. Okay, we got that. Uh, let's see here. 
This is oxygen. Okay, perfect. Uh, these boxes, I think, are empty. Okay, so let's run back. I'm going to run back. And uh, when I get back to the base, I'm going to show you how I build the components. Well, here we are, back at the base. Okay, perfect. So, so this is how I build stuff. So, let's just make sure everything we need is in the inventory here. So, let's throw this kind of stuff, like pipes and metal pieces, metal components. Let's put cables beside that. Metal plates is kind of like a, a main component because it creates everything else from that. Okay, uh, glass plates, put that right here. Okay, we've got a pistol here. Let's put our, our charges here. So we need to make some filler and flatten charges. So let's start with that. So this is how crafting works. Filler, oh, what's this? Laser pistols and stuff, rocket launcher. Oh, that's cool, huh. Oh, they must have added this stuff in the last update. That's cool. Sweet. Anyways, filler and flatten charge. So we need fuel packs. So let's let's store our fuel packs in here, uh, like so. Uh, the oxygen bottles we can put down here. Maybe we can put this stuff like here. This is emergency ration. We shouldn't have to use it. Uh, let's see here. Put that there. Okay, perfect. Inventory organized. So we need to make six rock dust. So I can six, twelve, eighteen. I can make three of these. Okay, one, two. Oh, wait a second. How much does it output? Oh, it doesn't say. Let's see what happens when it gets crafted here. Uh, almost done. So it makes three. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. We'll maybe hold on to the rock dust just in case, in case we need it. S six of these sh should be perfect, since we got enough of all these other ones here. So it's fine and dandy. Perfect. Okay. We, um, so magnesium powder. We only have ten magnesium powder. Oh man. That sucks. So, we need to find magnesium. <laughs> so, we need to get our ship going. So, let's do that. So, this is the green. That's the, the ship. So, we need metal components, cables. Do we have enough cables? Three, six. We need more cables. So, we go over here. We go cables. Okay. So, that would be nine cables, which is for three thrusters. Okay. Where is the thruster? Uh, 5, 10, 15 metal components. I think that's this thing, so we're okay on those. Uh, pipes. We need 5 pipes. So we need 15 pipes. So let's move that up. Pipes are already. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And let's just do an extra one for good measure. Okay, we're doing all the pipes. Let's see here. Now we need 612. We need 18 electronics and one motor. So let's see here. 18 electronics and one motor. Uh, we need silicone. 18. So what happens if we do... I don't think we'll be able to stop though. Unless the physics are different on the space vehicles, maybe we will be able to stop. Uh, we can only make two of these guys, these thrusters, unfortunately. So let's do that anyways, and then look for silicone and stuff. So motors, we need two motors then. Motors. See what I mean? Like there's just so, so much crafting and stuff. Like just crazy two motors we need two of these guys oh man so we're gonna need sweet silicone okay we're gonna have to do it by foot unfortunately so basically I'm gonna use up the magnesium powder for maybe 
Let's see, which do we get more bullets with? Do we get more bullets with the pistol? Uh, let's do, I'm going to do, for the magnesium powder, I'm going to do this stuff, these bullets. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So we have to basically go traveling, go looking for more materials. So basically, yeah, okay, I want to make more bullets and then I want to hit that ship uh, down over here. Well, I don't know, maybe we'll hit that ship next episode down over there. Maybe we'll be able to kill the those guys with the... And these aren't growing, so you need the grow lamps to make those grow. That was an experiment I tried. So, yeah, so basically next episode what we'll do is we'll build more onto this base. And we'll kind of maybe tackle that base and maybe look for some materials. So thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate you all watching. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.